Hi guys, welcome to the daily current affairs session on EduTap and my dear friends, I hope all of you are healthy and preparing well for your upcoming exams and when we talk about exams then current affairs plays a really very important part in these particular exams and that is the reason that I am back with a very important session in which we are going to discuss the top PIB news from the month of November 2021 and my dear friends here is the list of topics that we are going to discuss in the today's session so before starting the session if you are new to our youtube channel kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates of the courses and videos offered by us and you can also join our telegram channel to get the access to the pdf of these lectures to join the telegram channel kindly click on the link given in the description below and my dear friends, I'm glad to announce that we are running a Diwali bumper offer in which we are giving 40% plus additional 10% off on the various courses such as for RBA Grade B, CB Grade A, NABAD Grade A, ASIC Deputy Director and some other courses. But in order to avail this particular discount, all of you are required to use the code Diwali that is D-I-W-A-L-I and this code is only valid till 5th of November 2021. So I hope that this is very much clear to all of you and now let us move on to the session. Let's get started. So my dear friends, here is the list of topics that we are going to discuss in the today's session. Here the very first topic is the CBID program and the second topic is the International One Health Day. Okay, so if we talk about the CBID program and my dear friends, here is the very first question which is based on the Community Based Inclusive Development program. Okay, see. So here is the very first question that you all of you are required to answer the question in the comment section below and before answering the question all of you are requested to carefully read the question as what exactly has been asked in this particular question. So if you talk about the question it says that which one of the following is the correct statement regarding the community based inclusive development program. So to answer this question you are required to quickly go through these particular statements and tell me in the comment section below that which of the following is the correct statement okay so let's let's find out the answer about this question together so my dear friends here is the headline from the PIB news and my dear friends here the headline was that the minister virtually inaugurates community based inclusive development program which aims to create a pool of grassroots level rehabilitation workers at community level so my dear friends here actually this particular uh, first batch of the community based inclusive development program has been launched by Dr. Virendra Kumar who is the Union Minister of Social Justice and Empowerment. So now the question arises that what exactly this community based inclusive development program is all about. So my dear friends if we talk about the community based inclusive development program. So this particular program has been launched to create a pool of grassroot level rehabilitation workers and these rehabilitation workers will be called Divyang Mitra. So Divyang Mitra stands for friends of persons with disabilities that's why they are known as Divyang Mitra. So these rehabilitation workers will be known as Divyang Mitra who are going to work alongside the Asha and Anganwadi workers to handle across disability issues and my dear friends they are also going to facilitate the inclusion of persons with disabilities in the society so that's how the CBID program is going to work about and it will comprise of the rehabilitation workers that means Divyang Mitra. So now let's just discuss more about this particular program. See, if we talk about this program, then this program has been co-designed by the Rehabilitation Council of India along with the University of Melbourne, Australia. And if we talk about this program, then it is going to provide the competency based knowledge and skills to these Divyang Mitras and they are going to enhance their ability for successfully discharging their duties okay in handling these disability issues so i hope that this is very much clear to all of you and if we talk about the content and curriculum for this particular course of the of the cbid program then my dear friends it has been developed by an expert committee which comprises of various experts from india and australia
and the National Board of Examination in Rehabilitation under the Rehabilitation Council of India will be the conducting body which is going to conduct the examinations for this particular program that is CBID program which will be available initially which will be initially available in English, Hindi and other seven regional languages that is Gujarati, Marathi, Uriya, Bengali, Telugu, Tamil and Garu. So my dear friends under this particular CBID program see this CBID program program uh, has been launched by the government of India in order to uh, promote in order to encourage these rehabilitation workers who are going to work along the Asha and Anganwadi workers in handling the disability issues so I hope that this particular program is very much clear to all of you and now let's see and come back to the question and try to find out the answer to that particular question so here is the question before your screen and the question was that which one of the following is the correct statement regarding the community based inclusive development program so here the very first statement talks about the aim of this particular program that is it is going to create a pool of grassroots rehabilitation workers at a community level and if we talk about the second statement the second statement says that these rehabilitation workers will be called divyang sati that is friends of persons with the disabilities and the third question says that it has been co-designed by the rehabilitation council of india in association with the university of melbourne australia so my dear friends if you talk about the right answer then the right answer to this question is option b that is both statement one and three are correct so what exactly is wrong about the statement two see if you focus on the statement two the statement two says that these rehabilitation workers will be called divyang sati but as per our discussion these rehabilitation workers which will be uh, taking part in the community based inclusive development program will be called Divyang Mitra so that is the reason that this particular statement is incorrect and that's why the right answer to this question is option B that is both statement 1 and 3 are correct so my dear friends I hope that this particular question is very much clear to all of you and see these kind of questions are being asked in the exam and recently we have seen the trend of these kind of questions these statement based questions which are repeatedly being asked in the exam and that is the reason to ace these exams you are required to practice these kind of statement based questions in order to answer the question successfully while you will be answering the questions in the actual examination so i hope that this is very much clear and now let's move on to the next question of the today's session that is on which one of the following days the international one health day is being celebrated every year to highlight the need for one health approach to address the interrelated health threats at the human animal environment interface so here you are required to tell me that on which one of the following days the international one health day is being celebrated every year whether it is 3rd november 4th november 5th November, 6th November or 7th November my dear friends we are going to find this together so let's move on to the news so why exactly this particular day was in the news because the department of animal husbandry and dairying is going to organize a stakeholder forum on the industry and one health and why it is organizing this kind of stakeholder forum this is organizing this forum to mark the 6th international one health day which will be held tomorrow that is on 3rd of november and my dear friend that is the present day okay so this particular international one health day is being celebrated every year on 3rd of november so before discussing more uh, much more about this particular news in detail let's see that what exactly this one health is all about see one health it is a concept okay which in which it, there is a collaborative multi-sectoral and transdisciplinary approach in which we are working at the local regional and national as well as global levels with the goal of achieving optimal health outcomes recognizing the interconnection between the people animals plants and their shared environment see in our environment various kind of species live where are people animals plants and all so we with the help of this one health concept we are aiming to establish such kind of environment where 
we are already interdependent on each other and we are uh, living with a balance and that is the reason that this one health concept has been launched and my dear friends if we talk about this particular news then this international one health day which highlights the need for one health approach in order to address the interrelated health threats at the human animal environmental interface and my dear friends on the occasion of this international one health day the department of animal husbandry and daring that is on november 3rd is going to organize a stakeholder forum on the theme that is industry and one health as a part of azadi ka amrit mahotsav and my dear friends the azadi ka amrit mahotsav to commemorate the 75th year of india's independence the government of india is celebrating the azadi ka amrit mahotsav and as a part of this celebration the department of animal husbandry and dairying on the occasion of international one health day they are organizing this stakeholder forum that is industry and one health and if we talk about the participating entities the participating entities for this particular forum will be the confederation of indian industry world bank as well as the melinda bill and melinda gates foundation along with the officials of the department of animal husbandry and dairying so if we talk about the key takeaways from this particular uh, article then the key takeaways are first of all the day as this is the sixth international one health day and my dear friends this particular date is really very important that on which date this particular international one health day is being celebrated and second important thing is the theme on which this particular uh, stakeholder forum will be organized and conducted by the department of animal husbandry and dairying that is industry and one health so my dear friends if we let's uh, get back to the question and if we try to answer the question for this particular question then my dear friends as we have already discussed the right answer to this question is option b that is 3rd november as on the 3rd november the international one health day is being celebrated see uh, as we have already seen that the international world health day will be celebrated on 3rd of november 2021 so all of you there is a homework for all of you and all of you are going to tell me in the comment section below that what exactly is going to be the theme of international one health day so i hope that this is very much clear to all of you and now let us move on to the revision question see in the revision question we try to revise the question which we have already discussed in our previous session and in case you have not seen our previous session then you can revise the topic from this particular question itself okay so here the question from the revision question series is here on your screen so my dear friends here the question is which one of the following is the correct statement regarding the sambhav program launched recently so my dear friends recently a sambhav program was being launched and all of you are requested to answer the question in the comment section below and to answer the question you are required to quickly go through these particular statements and then tell me in the comment section below that which statement is correct statement regarding the sambhav program so if we talk about the statement one it says that it is a state level awareness program 2020 21 which will be conducted in more than 1300 colleges across the country the statement to says that it has been organized by the ministry of micro small and medium enterprises government of india and the statement 3 says that it will going to be a one month long initiative under the ministry of msme in which students from different colleges and iits from all parts of the country will be encouraged by 130 field officers of the ministry to take up entrepreneurship so my dear friends if we talk about this sambhav program this particular program has been launched by the ministry of msme in order to in order to promote entrepreneurship among the students and that is the reason that this program has been launched and if we talk about the right answer to this particular question the right answer to this question is both statement 2 and 3 are correct so what exactly this uh what exactly is wrong about the statement one my dear friends it is saying that it is a state level awareness program 2021 to be conducted in more than 1300 colleges across the country but if we talk about the wrong component of this particular statement it is that it is a state level awareness program but in actual this is not a state level awareness program my dear friends this is a national 
this is a national level awareness program and that is the reason that this particular question that this particular statement is incorrect and the right answer to this question is option c that is both statement two and three are correct so my dear friend that was all from the today's session if you have any queries then you can drop us a mail for uh, and you can drop us a mail at hello at the rate edutab.co.in and you can also call us at 814-620-7241. If you have liked the session, then you can give a thumbs up in the comment section below. So my dear friends, once again, thank you for joining us. Wish you all happy learning.